confused about PC fans? Let's dive into the world of things that suck and blow so you can have the highest performance rig possible. Let's start with the basics. How do PC fans work? Almost all PC fans have the same basic design. Simply, fans suck in from here, the open side, and exit through the side with the support bars. Now there are reverse fans which are becoming more popular. They run air through the opposite direction, so they pull in air through the support bars and out the open side. Why do we even have reverse fans? So you can get that sweet PC look without exposing the rear of the fan. Some cases come with reverse fans, or you can buy these fans from a number of PC brands. There are three types of fans on the market. High flow, high static pressure, and general use fans. Flow is for pushing tons of air through your case, while the static pressure fans are for pushing air through a radiator. Now, you don't have to use both types. Often you'll get fans included in your case that are for moving lots of air. Meanwhile, fans with your AIO or air cooler are designed to offer the best push for those applications. Stick to what's included and you'll be good to go. You can also purchase all kinds of fancy fans from aftermarket companies that offer features like higher airflow, quieter performance, or just fancier looks. Now, let's talk positive and negative air pressure. One of the most important aspects of case builds so you can avoid getting dust in your PC. Positive air pressure means your case is blowing air out of the case, which is ideal so air only goes in the case through the filters and then out through the other openings in the case. Negative air pressure means you're creating a vacuum inside the case and sucking air in through all the cracks before exhausting heat. You won't be able to feel it, but you will see the dust accumulate on your parts over time. Here, you can see what positive, aka the right kind of airflow looks like. The intakes are so powerful, they're pushing air out through every crack available. With negative pressure, the air is being sucked in through those cracks, and with air comes dust, cat hair, you name it, and you don't want dust in your PC. Now let's talk the two main types of cases you can buy tower and dual chamber. This is a tower with the power supply on the bottom. Dual chamber puts the PSU into the back. Of course, there are a lot of unusual case designs with different fan setups. However, typically, the basic dual chamber design, as you can see, gives you more fans than the standard mid tower. We're talking up to 10 fans versus seven. Is one better than the other? Well, more fans means more cooling, or you can run your fans at lower speed, which gives you that sweet silence. However, the dual chamber case require the air to go at a 90 degree angle before exiting the case. So which way do you want your air to go? The general rule is to have air coming in through the front and blowing out the back and the top. In a dual chamber case, it's in through the side and bottom and out through the back and the top. Some don't like the dual chamber case because of turbulence from the bottom and sides conflicting with the top and rear, and the air needing to turn sideways to flow out at all. However, in reality, the difference in temperatures are negligible, and there are so many different case designs with different fan locations that it's impossible to say with certainty that one type of case is actually better than another. For case airflow, the general rule is that you want more intake fans than exhaust fans. Most PC cases will show the fans in the correct locations. This way, you're pushing more air in, which prevents the exhaust from creating the vacuum that sucks in the dust. However, if you count the fans on a typical tower case, you'll notice that there are three front intake fans and four rear and top exhaust fans, which means you're sucking in dust. The solution? is to adjust the speed of the fans so your front intake fans can be more powerful than the others. Programs like fan control and motherboard specific fan controllers are your secret weapon. Does a glass front panel restrict airflow? Yes. 
This means the best airflow cases aren't the ones with the most glass in front. You can often remove the front panel and the case will still look fine. Some cases give you the option with different front panels, but generally the more glass, the worse the airflow and the higher your temperatures. As for airflow, you might think that hot air slowly rises from the GPU, gathering around the CPU and making it hotter. However, you can see exactly how fast the air moves, even with fans that aren't at full blast. Interestingly, the dual chamber case, while requiring air to make a 90 degree turn, still moves air so quickly that air doesn't sit in the case and heat up like you might think it does. PC case fans are powerful and do an excellent job of circulating the air. You know what they say about radiators? Location, location, location. Does it even matter? Obviously, if your case doesn't have a full top radiator section, then you gotta go with front placement. For performance, mounting top or front doesn't matter unless you're really cranking your system and every last degree is important. We're talking a degree or two from the CPU or GPU. This is a trivial amount of heat difference for most people and for how CPUs and GPUs perform. Now there is a consideration for airflow. Mounting the radiator to the top will give you the best intake airflow since the fresh air doesn't need to push through a radiator which lowers the flow. If if you mount the radiator to the front, you'll be restricting the front fans, so you'll need to adjust the exhaust fans to be a bit lower. Finally, having your hoses up top on a front radiator is both perfectly fine and how modern AIOs are meant to function. This is the way. That's it. If you have any questions, drop them below and we'll do our best to answer them. As always, make sure you subscribe for more great content and check out Newegg.com for all your PC building hardware needs. There was one summer I was obsessed with the Wedding Singer soundtrack, and I used to just like roll down the street in that Buick Regal playing Pasta Dolce Pamela Panza, Pasta Dolce Pamela Panza, Bobo.